It's April 1st. We're still in quarantine. And uh, we're setting up for City's party. Drive-by party. You got Tiffany's car over there. Got the Bratchers and Hannah and the Bakers over there. How you feeling, dude? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. You got your car? Yeah. You want to say happy birthday? Go. Happy birthday. <laughs> Why is your trunk open? Happy oh, go! Go put the game! Social distancing! Well, for, don't forget the rice! Don't forget the rice! Yay. COVID 19. Dancing baby! Hey! COVID-19, day 365, it's been a whole year, just kidding. It's uh, April something, April 4th, I believe. It's a Saturday afternoon, and the kids run around this huge baseball field because no one's here, and because of COVID-19. Oh, nice. Help him up, dude. Help him, help your brother. Help your brother. Turn, Turn around, around, help your brother up. This guy, look at that guy. This is reality right here. This is gonna be future, their future. The little brother's gonna fall down as it's just gonna be like, ho, 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 ho. Put down your chips. <laughs> it's been about four weeks of this social distancing thing. We have no idea when this is gonna be lifted and when it's gonna end, but uh, we do trust that God has an end to all this. Hopefully, as we're watching, as we're watching this in the future, hopefully we're we're watching this and social distancing has been done and we're able to gather with our family and our church. Nope, not yet. It's August something and it's still nope. But as of right now, it's a, I don't know, we're not depressed. Maybe we are, it's just sad, but just trying to live life, trying to survive, you know? Uh, whoa. Do something cool. Look. Let me see. Oh, there you go. There you go. There. There. Hey, Ezra. Daddy. What did you make? Daddy. What is it? Whoa, dude. That's cool, man. I like it. Cool beans. Can you help me put this yeah. on the top one? Okay, I'm ready. Can you help me? That's how I want it. Like that? Oh yeah, son. Legit, you my son. What you doing there? You having fun stomping your feet? Are you doing like a Indian dance? Yeah. Hey yo, ho, hey yo, na na na, hey ya na, na ho na ho na. Oh, 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 that's a big bite. Nice, dude. You like chicken Alfredo? <laughs> Oi. Hey, what's up? It's a camcorder. That is? It's um it's a building of rotten candy. Of rotten candy, huh? Yeah. Wait a minute. Who made it? Wait, no, I don't wanna watch. <laughs> Who made what? 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 Guitar. 
Here you go. Dad. How's it going? What's up? It's uh, Wednesday night, April 8th, and we're still quarantined, but we just cleaned the house as it was a mess from that last clip you saw. And now the kids are gonna go take a bath. Take this one mm -hmm. apart and then stick it out. So I use the slime to stick it off my fingers? Yeah. Cool. Like a machine. Like a machine? Or a... Oh, when you wash your hands, so it gets off. But when you don't wash your hands, it doesn't get off. Maybe we should wet it more. What? How old did you? I'm gonna roll this. Look at it melt. <laughs> Look, it's melting. What's up? It's Saturday, um, April 11th. We have about supposedly another month of the stay at home order here in California, so. Also, the, the boys are singing Into the Unknown from Frozen 2. It's Silly Hatter Day! Silly Hatter Day! Silly Hatter Day! What? You crazy, man. You crazy. Silly Hatter Day. You know, just silly. Just be silly. Hello. Cereal. Cereal. Do something crazy. When it's dark and it's at nighttime and you see a scary bear, God and Jesus is with you. Cool, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. It makes you feel you, brave, right? And you guys are with me also. Yeah, but when we're not here with you, God is always with you. Yeah, and sometimes you Mom, always Mom, still Mom, with me when you Mom, put Mom, us Mom. to sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay, Aiden wants more cereal, okay? Mid-morning, a little bit. We are gonna go on a little drive to uh, Chino Hills. One, to pick up stuff, and two, to just, you know, see some family from a distance. From a distance. All right, we just, uh, we just saw my sister, but we didn't cry, she didn't cry, nope. True. This is what we've resorted to to meet our new nephew. Yeah. What's up, dude? Again. Hi. Again. Hello. I wish we could go. I wish we could go hey, in Teddy. the house. I wish we could do. Oh. 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 Hi. What in the world? Get away. Oh. Hey, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. Hey careful. dogs. Hey. How do you feel? Good. Bye. Pesk. This is what uh, family time has resulted to. Can you hold my hand? Just uh, window and window. Hold my hand. Today I might sell my element. Just sold my car. Back Hello. to one car. Here we are. Car, car, car. Yeah, Let's play guitar. Wish doing? upon a star. Yeah, COVID-19. COVID-19, you guys, yeah. Let's be COVIDs. See him take pictures.
things. Uh, are there? No, it's going There is only one. What's up? It's uh, April 20th. We're still in the middle of the COVID-19 everything. So um, we've been trying to be creative with everything that we're doing. Um, tonight is Korean barbecue night and eating outside in the back because our back neighbors just moved out. And so we get to enjoy like having a pretend backyard. Okay, here's Pan, she's bringing out the foods. All right. We'll take a look at our little setup. Typically, this is our only backyard. Quote unquote backyard. But, like I said recently, people that lived in this house just moved out. So now we have all this. Scared of a ladybug? Yeah. I'm ready and see. Don't step on it. Look it. Yeah, I think it's like about to die. That's cool, actually. It looks really nice. You should touch it, mom. It tickles. You should touch it, dad. It tickles, dad. No thanks. There's our dinner table Mommy. right there. So yeah, that's kind of that's what we're up to. Just chilling, trying to. Trying to survive, not go crazy. <laughs> yes. Okay, we packed up our bulgogi. It's very hot. Let's make our way out. Close the door. Get my slippers on. It's very hot. Cool guys. How intimate our table is. Wow. Do you like it? Mm hmm. It's yummy. Buy meat. Get some meat. I like that meat. Let's get our kitchen shearers. Pork. It it's smells actually like beef. Pork. It's beef? Yes, sir. It smells yummy. Our squid and fish thingies. Oh, nice. Alright. We've been uh, having a successful meal so far. A lot of you guys know. I don't know who. A lot. <laughs> but a lot of you guys know how much Pam likes kimchi, and so. Who is this? What? Amanda, our sister from our church from BBC. It was about a week ago. About a week ago, graciously dropped off this kimchi, and it was full, and now it's not full. And then another sweet Korean sister of ours. Anna Jung more provided kimchi. us with these. More kimchi. This guy is not eating kimchi. He's just calling water kimchi. kimchi. I don't know. It's Korean. It's more in Tagalog. Kimchi. It's delis, but in I Korean, I don't know. Yeah. Super good. Bulgogs, bulgogs. You know what I'm saying? More chicken. Hey, no! Don't put rice on the lens. Oh no, it's bending. Yeah. Alright, just finished dinner. It was yummy. We're cleaning up uh, where we were. Hi. So curious what's on the floor. What are you trying to do? What are you doing here? Jump! Alright, so there is not much we can do. Um, 
during this like pandemic and stay inside but we are currently looking for we are currently looking for a house to move into and so um, our lease here ends in a couple months Pam's pregnant with number three and we really can't just be in this two-bedroom tiny apartment it's not even an apartment it's a back house but still we are gonna try to find a house during this pandemic and um, we'll see how it goes you have any words hello my name is Amido. cool so right now we're just gonna drive around all right we're here again for story to Bayan's birthday. We getting ready. We getting ready for the story. That's how we do it. We just made the rounds. Shout out uh, to my brother-in-law. Good looking out. I'm like the good Darth Vader. Happy to you. Happy birthday, dear story. Happy birthday, dear story. What's up, guys? It's Thursday. Oh. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Thursday, um, April 23rd, I think. Uh, yesterday, April 22nd, I found out that my grandpa passed away. Um, and I was really sad yesterday, um, so uh, I, I, wanted, I, I want to update the videos because one, he's really special to me, and two, like... Like there's footage that I have of my grandpa and us like hanging out um, at their house, him playing music, singing, playing guitar. And I just, I wanted to take a moment today um, after all the sadness and sort of all of the uh, the emotions are, are sort of um, felt. I mean, obviously I'm still sad. I'm staying home for, for the next couple of days from work, but I uh, wanted to spend some time to sort of address it because in the future when I do watch these videos, when my family watches these videos, uh, I want to make sure I mention how much I loved him, how much I love him. He uh, really formed me. He took care of me when I was younger, him and him and uh, his wife, my grandma, obviously. Um, they took care of me when I was a kid, when my parents were working. Um, they helped raise me. And so uh, a lot of who I am today, I know that it's because of my grandpa. A lot of my musical taste a lot of uh, probably even why I'm a Christian now. Um, he was a strong believer. He he loved singing. He loved he loved reading the Bible. He loved making sure everyone was always just glorifying God, no matter what. Whenever we had family gatherings, one of his favorite things was to just play music and sing together. When it was like me and my cousins and everyone, so that is very much a part of me and very much a part of. Um, what I'm gonna continue, the legacy that I'm gonna continue with my family, um, him being, you know, the the you know the beginning of the Taladas out here um, in Southern California. So I'm really thankful for my grandpa. I'm thankful for the example that he set in raising my dad as the oldest, and now um, how that has trickled down into me and knowing that I'm going to continue on his legacy, his love for music, his love for Jesus um, for the future. And uh, yeah, I'm, I, obviously I'm very emotional and I'm very um, sentimental right now. And that's definitely something my grandpa did. He was also, he was someone who always recorded everything and now that has trickled down obviously to me. So I have videos of myself being just a kid, a baby, and my grandpa's voice just narrating pretty much what I do now. Um, he influenced a lot of that. And then obviously with photography and then that going into my dad and now to me. So I'm just really thankful, thankful for being a Toyota today. I'm thankful that um, uh, he made it to age 93. I was about to say 33, but that's Jesus. Jesus was 33. Anyways, 
he made it to 93 and we all got to spend time together in February and that's what um, the last footage that I have of him is him playing my dad's guitar um, and singing one of his favorite songs which was Besame. I'm gonna try to learn it now and try to sing it but uh, yeah just uh, thankful for my grandpa. I am uh, yeah this is a uh, it's it's a surreal moment now that both of my grandpas passed away um but uh yeah i'm not gonna prolong this anymore i'm just i'm thankful i'm sad sorrowful but jo rejoicing and i just bought pam some sushi not su not raw sushi but like cooked rolls because she's hungry and i'm hungry anyways that's it Bye.